An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Was once considered preventative medicine. Today, it's more than an adage, it's a lifestyle. In our pursuit of good health, we care more than ever about the kind of food we eat and how it can impact our bodies. Health and well-being is a huge struggle for many Americans. While we idolize people who are thin, we are surrounded by a world of conveniently available foods 24-7 in the forms of snack, junk, and fast foods, combined with a lack of daily exercise. From low-fat to low-carb, we are constantly bombarded with conflicting dietary advice, making it difficult to decipher what to eat. It's a silent epidemic, with over half of our population overweight or obese, and rising rates of diabetes, insomnia, and depression, and skyrocketing dependence on medications and prescription drugs. America spends over $2 trillion a year on health care. In a few years, 20% of our gross domestic product will be spent on health care. And yet, every year, more people are putting on more weight, more dependent on medications, operations. We have childhood obesity, diabetes, and something's very wrong with the system. In order to really um, take care of this crisis and come up with a creative way, we have to go beyond mechanisms of illness. We have to go into the origins of illness that have to do with how we live our lives, um, how we interact with each other, our relationship with the environment, our nutrition, our social interactions, our personal relationships, uh, our perception of who we are, how we think, how we feel. It's complicated, but you know, if we really want to take care of this health crisis, it has to be through education and awareness and not through new technologies. The $30 billion diet and weight loss industry proves that Americans want to get in shape and be healthy. But we all know fad diets or quick fixes don't work. In fact, a growing school of thought suggests there is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all diet. There are so many different healing modalities and different foods that affect people. And one of the greatest things that I learned from integrative nutrition was that every single body is unique. And within that, every single person has a different dietetic need. Uh, you know, it's not like so cut and dry, like the USDA pyramid. I was fascinated that in nutrition, people can prove dairy is good for you, and other people can prove, you know, when I have dairy, it makes me sick. Some people need to have their protein, red meat, and then I feel great. And other people, they're vegetarian, and they have so much energy. This fascinated me. How could it be in science that different things work and that landed us with the concept of bio-individuality. One person's food is another person's poison. So just because someone else does well in one way of eating doesn't mean someone else will. This approach to health is the core of the largest nutrition school in the world, the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. It's the only nutrition school whose curriculum addresses over 100 different dietary theories to help people find what works best for their individual needs, moving them toward health and happiness and share it with their clients. Holistic nutrition goes together with holistic education. That means mind, body, and soul. And different people learn in different ways. Some people are auditory, some people read notes, and our students some of them are MDs, registered nurses, and some people didn't even graduate high school. English is their second language. So I'm an orchestra conductor trying to bring them all into symphony, orchestrating their education. I think the Institute of Integrative Nutrition offers a very comprehensive, holistic approach to not just nutrition, but lifestyle management and also offers a variety of different perspectives, which is important because there's no one fixed way of looking at well-being, including there's no one fixed way of looking at nutrition. Integrative nutrition is an unbelievably uh, stable support system for the holistic health counselor, for the person who's doing alternative healing. If you need support, you come back and you go on the online education forum. You always have the opportunity to get back in touch with the teachers. It's, it's really a great base. It's a great home base for us, you know, for health counselors. Losing weight is a big one. 
Uh, and so when I work with, for example, the African American community for heart disease or high blood pressure, uh, it's tying that to what they know. And so making it culturally accessible. You're not going to take someone who is from the South who is used to fried chicken over to raw foods right away. <laughs> And so that's unrealistic. And, and so it's how can you hmm, cook things maybe a little bit differently? Um, how can you add some more vegetables into what you're doing? So it's the accessibility factor will make that losing weight or the lowering blood pressure easier. Integrative nutrition has a unique philosophy. Food, what we consider to be the primary source of nourishment and energy, is really secondary. Our primary food is not found on our plates. It's the core aspects of our life, specifically relationships, career, spirituality, and exercise, which feed and nourish us foremost. Early on in my practice, a woman came to see me about eating well, and one day she walked in with a black eye. And I thought, well, I'm not going to talk about broccoli today. And I learned that things feed us in life, besides food. Personal relationship, our career, our spiritual practice, all feed our body and our soul. And a lot of times what's considered food disorders or eating disorders are a lifestyle that's out of balance. It's a question of increasing awareness, giving education, and making a healthy living joyful, not fear-based. Because if you tell somebody you've got to lose weight because um, you're going to get a heart attack. The person actually loses weight and still gets the heart attack because the fear that motivated the change creates its own biology. You have to make the process joyful. And that can only come if you give it uh, an experience, if it's experiential, if people enjoy what they're doing because they're getting in touch with the part of themselves that gives off ecstatic energy. This is just the physical manifestation of my form, but there's so much more that needs to be fed. You know, our, our life here on the planet, what I believe is just a whole learning experience. Yeah. So I'm feeding the body with food, I have to feed the mind, I have to feed okay. the heart, I have to feed everything. And I think primary food is fe feeding the heart, feeding the mind, feeding the organ systems, feeding the soul. The world is beginning to understand that healthy eating and a balanced lifestyle feed our souls and satisfy our hunger for living. As the world's largest nutrition school, Integrative Nutrition in New York City takes pride in spreading the word about health and wellness. Our mission is to play a crucial role in improving health and happiness in America and through that process transform the world because the world does what America does. For over 15 years, Integrative Nutrition has combined the knowledge of all the major dietary theories from traditional philosophies to modern concepts and invites the who's who in nutrition and wellness to speak at the school and share their ideas. The Institute for Integrative Nutrition has launched thousands of students and professionals into careers in health counseling, and they want you to join them. Well, there's a new 50-year-old and a new 60-year-old today that's younger, more vibrant, more educated than ever, and they're not going to go down easy. They want to know everything possible to live a healthy, happy life for themselves. They're going to be less dependent on the doctor, the medications. They're going to educate themselves about how to live a long and happy, healthy life, and we're part of that process. We hope this program has been an inspiration to you and all you hope to achieve. Be sure to join us next time as we continue to profile the people and ideas changing the way we live. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr. For more information about studying at Integrative Nutrition, visit IntegrativeNutrition.com.